Adert, lovely skill. Danny Blanco, oh, oh, oh. Right. right. Oh my God, it is 6 0 to Arsenal. What on earth am I watching at Bramall Lane? A huge game in the Premier League tonight at Bramall Lane as Sheffield United take on Arsenal. There is a chance that Sheffield United could stay up. I mean, it's unlikely, but a win tonight will do them a world of good. Arsenal, though, they're one of the most informed teams in the world right now. However, if they don't get the first goal, Sheffield United could cause them problems. They had a defeat to Porto, they frustrated them. Can Sheffield United do the same? It's crunch time in the season. Nobody can slip up. Liverpool and City didn't slip up. It's now time for Arsenal's turn. Like and subscribe if you're enjoying the adventures. Oh my God, the wind is mad. It's time to get off to Sheffield for this big game. And meet Faz and have some amazing scrap. Let's go. I'm here with Faz, the urban baller. How are we, my man? I'm excited, bro. Are you ready? Look at the state of the scrum that we have got today. Absolutely. How good is this food, though, James? It's unbelievable. Feels like I'm back in Istanbul. <laughs> we need a score prediction today. I know you're an undercover Arsenal fan tonight, um, but are I'm you going to win? I think we're going to win, but I don't think it's going to be as easy as everybody is expecting. I think it's going to be 3-1. 3-1 to Arsenal. Yeah. Can Sheffield United put up a fight if they, they score will. first? I think they will. I think they will put up a fight, and I think they could get a goal as well. Whether they score first or not, I'm not sure, but I think they'll. I, I think if Arsenal score first, Sheffield United will get level, and it'll be one of those where you're thinking, are they going to? They're going to put in a dogged performance, but I think Arsenal just had a bit too much, and they'll break them down. I right, agree. That's a great prediction. All right, time to nail our food and get to Bramall Lane. Great choice of scram, by the way, my man. <laughs> this is some of the best match day scram we've ever had. Mm. Unbelievable. I'm in an intercap. I don't know why, I just am. <laughs> I will take it off before I go in. <laughs> to break down the scran, obviously, we have got an absolute Turkish cuisine here. We've got some absolute beautiful ribs, we've got some chicken, we've got some beef, we've got rice, we've got bread, we've got fries, we got FS. Back in Istanbul, that's what we won the Champions League on. And uh, yeah, look at the state of this. And um, we got Faz who's <laughs> in his habitat, <laughs> nailing scran. That's where he belongs. But yeah, good this food, is yeah. this is good food. We just go together. This is match day club of this and a half. It's like Jeddah all over, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> hey, ladies and gentlemen, we are pitch side here at Bram Hall Lane. We've got an absolute hang view from our seat, and we're going to love this game. We're here on the concourse. There's a little bit of entertainment going on. There is guess the first goal time and who scored first and how. Are we having a go at this? 100%. Come on, 100%. Now. Let's do it. We've got all the minutes. So the bit, the big ones have gone, especially like in the first sections of the game. I think you've got to go as early as possible here, bro. I've got to go as early as possible. I think you've got to go as early as possible. There's not much left. 41, 42. 41. I'm, of course, taking 44. For JSM 44. Absolutely, that one's mine. So I'm going to put that one in. Right, I can't type and hold, <laughs> so let me do it. Faz has put my name in it. Yes, JSM 44. In on the 44. If there's a goal in the 44th minute, right? I'll buy you dinner, yeah? <laughs> That's his go with the first goal score. What are you going? Sack a left foot? Right, here we go. McBurney. Outside the box. McBurney. Oh, I put it in play as late. McBurney Screamer. I'm going with that. I can't spell, but there we go. There's my prediction. Some good predictions there. Fads going with the sack outside of the... What? You go outside of the box? Outside of the box. Outside left of the box. Left 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 to the bottom corner. A lot of people have gone with that. I've been a bit different. But Bernie Screamer from 65 yards out to send the cop. 65 yards, you heard me. To send the cop at Bramall Lane. Interruptions. That Turkish food is best <laughs> Hey, but Bernie is scoring a Turkish delight of a goal today. Mate, we've got great seats. We've got good view of the Arsenal fans. Uh, we've got good view of the pitch as well. I think we're actually behind the goal because it's not a bowl, this stadium. It's like a little bit sticking out. So we're going to be in that position. So if we were facing this way, we'd be looking right at a wall, wouldn't we? So we're going to have to like face it at a 90 degree angle. But I'm taking the eye up, even though you're taller. It's because I'm, it's cause I'm videoing. That's all that matters. We're not going to win. That's all that matters. <laughs> Definitely not. But score prediction. So you've gone with three one Arsenal. Three one Arsenal. I'm going six nil Sheffield United. Let's have it. <laughs> Honest prediction though. Um, two one. Scrape it win. Scrape it win. Uh, scrape it win for Arsenal. I do have to say. But six nil Sheffield United. If it happens, I will hook five of you guys up with a Sheffield United home kit for the next season. I will. <laughs> Trust me, I will. In terms of this game, I do think that Sheffield United have to keep Arsenal. Are you get a coffee, Buzz. Go for it, I'll do this, I'll do this. I'll do this. Sheffield United have to keep Arsenal out as long as possible. They've got to get to half time. Nil nil. Level terms or one nil up. That's the minimum they've got to do. I think if Sheffield United score first, there is a chance that they could go on, hang on, be able yeah. to get something from this game. 
we were speaking to a couple of people coming into the ground. Sheffield United have got a good record Very against good. Arsenal. So, and Chris Wilder does as well. He likes playing against Arsenal. He does. But Arsenal have never been in this good form for a long, long time. We're talking about the unbeatable season, uh, the invincible. Like right about now, where Arsenal are playing, the pressure seems to be off them, the shackles are off them, it's free flowing, they're looking good. But can they come here on a very cold night? On a Monday night football? Don't give, don't give Sheffield United team, they're going to go for it, it's going to be tough, they're going to be in their faces, they're going to be pushing and shoving. Have they got it in them? I don't know, but the trick is to either get that early goal or to get a foul or something like that, anything to get the crowd up. If the crowd goes up on Sheffield's side, it's going to make it difficult for Arsenal. Very, very if good. Arsenal score in the first 10 minutes, it's going to be a very, very long game because Sheffield United are going to have to dig and dig deep because Arsenal are showing no sign of stopping at the moment. Absolutely Goals not. left, right and centre. It's going to be a great game. Right, we're getting you a coffee. Absolutely. I've got a Pepsi, Max. I got, of course, right, I came in with both hoods up. I got random searched. Random so search. I'll tell you why. He looked at me I'll about why. three times. Because he's ginger. The ginger brother gets a random search. Right, time to go and grab some scrub and head in. Walking up now and the heavens have opened. Oh my god, this is going to be fun. It's a view from our seat. I'll tell you, if we look straight, we're looking at the wall between the segregation for the Arsenal fans and the Sheffield fans. But yeah, this is going to be fun. I'm going to enjoy this. The problem is we're getting wet from the wind. It is teeming it down, but the wind's <laughs> coming towards us and we're getting soaked. Welcome the two teams to a Monday night monster here at Sheffield United at Grab Hall Lane. It's going to be one hell of a game. Arsenal fans are ready, Sheffield United fans are ready. The cop is full, the atmosphere section is full. We're ready. Really much segregation here to be honest. So if any away fans fancy coming where we are, you can just walk right in to be honest. But yeah, we're ready for a game here. It's very cold though, I look a bit weird with my hood up, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. It's gonna be a great game, and there's a first day team sat right in front of us, so if we need any help, we'll be all good. So Sheffield United anthem is played round here. The Blades fans are ready. We're gonna enjoy this one. And we're off and on the way here at Grand Hall Lane. It's gonna be a great match. Atmosphere day. Let's have it. Oh my god, I don't know what I've just watched. Arsenal just hit the bar. It's Saka from a tight angle and hit the inside of the bar. It fell to Martinelli. It looked like he was gonna smack it in the net. Brilliant clear that Sheffield United have been under the cosh. Literally 60 seconds in. And Arsenal should have had a goal. It'll be a long game if it's like that for the whole of it because Sheffield United needs to keep Arsenal out for as long as they possibly can. To the 44th minute at least. Four minutes gone, 1-0 no Arsenal. And it's been coming. They've had three unbelievable good kick -off. It's been coming from kickoff. They've had three unbelievable attacks and finally it's worked nice on the left hand side. Martin Allen costs it in early down, tapping. Nobody anywhere near him. Just to just to caress it off his left foot and go into the back of the net. 1-0, no, easy. How many is it gonna be? I think seven now. The Arsenal way and is bouncing. We've got another corner here, they're just so on top. It's just how many are they gonna get? They're playing great football. Sheffield United looks so vulnerable every time that they've got the ball. It's corner though, third guard to deliver it back to the edge of the box with Saka. Listen to the Arsenal fans, they're buzzing with it. Third guard on the edge. Jinx gets a shot away, not far away. Two poor, needs to be closed down quicker. And this is going to be a long game now for Sheffield United. They lost the first goal early. It has to be now that they defend and try and hit one on the break if they want anything from this. Well, it started really quickly because they're going to kill this game by half time. 2 0, man. 2 0. Saka. He's nearly got that record. We need to say about it at the half time. We're in again, man. It's so easy. Oh, James 3 0. Oh my god. This is madness. This is madness. What, what, what are we in? 14. 14 and it's 3. And they are absolutely carving them apart. They are absolutely carving Sheffield United apart. This is madness. That's a good goal as well. He's that good. Unbelievable. What am I watching? Well, they are checking it. This is absolutely unbelievable. It's going to stand this. They are checking it though. The referee's got his answers in. People are genuinely leaving. A lot of people have just left as well. Yeah, it's a goal. Three minutes. Hang on. Just wait for a double confirmation. I thought the referee just confirmed it. The Arsenal fans are enjoying this aren't they How can, I, I think it was on personally but I've not got a good angle for it but they are checking it as you can see behind decision goal 3-0 15 minutes 3-0 to Arsenal what am I watching this is this, this is mad this is mad fans leaving literally doing V gestures at their own team not even at the Arsenal fans at their own team on the pitch Norwood's come off come straight down the tunnel this 
could be, this could be 10. It generally could be. The only time that Sheffield United have the ball is when the goalkeeper gets it from a shot on target and they just boot it and Arsenal will win it back, play brilliant football and have another chance. They're going to win this ball back, nice and easy, Saliba, and they'll just have another chance and, and there's going to be 10 goals there today. What do you do here with your Mikel Arteta? Do you look right in the 16? Do you go, do you go right, hang on, hang on. Do you go for more goals or do you take the foot off the gas and just give them sympathy? To keep the blood in the muscles, you've got to make them go to half time. Go all out until we have time. We'll have to see. Further, Sheffield United got up the pitch, and this is the most bright player, maybe. Oh, dear. That might be, the, that might be Sheffield United's best chance of the match. That's right. Four nil. I know it's a score now. So easy. Great football to watch. Terrible. Good Sheffield United. Four nil to Arsenal after 20 minutes. Let's come down to the concourse for a minute. I generally actually can't believe what I'm quite seeing, how good Arsenal have been and how poor Sheffield United have been. It's going to be a cricket score. It's generally... Let me know in the comments. We're at 30, 30 minutes now. Let me know if Arsenal are going to get 10. I know you guys will know the result, but anybody that's like watching along, let me know. It's 5-0. Everybody's going. This is absolutely incredible. I just can't believe what I'm actually watching. It's 5-0 in the space of 39 minutes. The content has not been there, and apologies. I'm just stunned into shock in what I'm watching. Every single time Arsenal go forward, it looks like they're going to score. And Sheffield United are one of the worst teams I think I've ever seen. And in this game, it epitomises it. And Sheffield United are on the attack and the Arsenal fans are jeering them. It's hilarious. Just absolutely relentless at the moment. Arsenal just have the ball, ping it round. Sheffield United give it away, comes back at them. Brilliant football goal. That's the cycle at the moment. Can't believe what I've watched. It is half time and it is 5 0 to Arsenal. And they're halfway to get in double digits, and they've been that good. And Sheffield United have been abysmal. Well, it's half time here at Bramhall Lane, and I don't think I can put into words. I'm going to try on what I've seen in the first half. Sorry again for the lack of content. I've just been stunned into absolute. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to watch this game and just try and get as much content as possible. But the, the anger around me. I can't film Arsenal fans with the amount of anger that was, that was on me. Uh, so I've moved back a little bit from where we were. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to bring you guys some more content in the second half. But, oh my god, four minutes. I said they have to keep them out as long as possible. Four minutes. Not the 44th minute, four minutes. Great goal. Second goal. Saka. Great goal. Third goal. Martinelli. Great goal. Fourth goal. Kai Havertz. Great goal, even though it came from a uh, lucky little rebound. Fifth goal, Declan Rice, great goal. Like, like, what more can you say other than one great team has outplayed one very, very bad team? And the Sheffield United fans have all left. Most of them have gone. Third goal, most of them were gone. Fourth goal, some more were gone. Fifth goal, most of them were gone. It was absolutely ridiculous on what I've seen. I honestly can't put it into words. I need to go now down and collect Faz uh, because he's still down there. Um, I've come up to get some more content for you guys. I, 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 don't know what, I don't know what to say, honestly. I don't know what to say. I'm just enjoying watching Arsenal play. I hate to say it. They're playing such good football. The Sheffield United are pants. I'm sorry to say it, guys. Sheffield United fans. So the guys I've met today, love it to meet you all, but you guys are pants. The, 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 the team is pants. Like, it's so bad. Um, but brilliant from Arsenal. 5 0. Will they get 10? Let's see. What do you think of that then? Crazy first half. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. Enjoying it. Say, I was saying Sheffield United get to half time 0 0. Well, that just oh, didn't happen. Just four didn't minutes. Happen. Like, four to minutes. To be honest, 90 seconds in, a moment into the game, and I think. Arsenal hit the post or they hit the bar. Yeah, and then Martinelli should have scored the rebound, should've shouldn't they? Right? So, so that could have been 1 0 after 90 seconds. Exactly. And that set the pace that, of the game, hadn't it? That, that was it then. As soon as that happened, I just thought there was a rhythm then into that. Yeah. That Sheffield United thinking, crap, we have our backs against the wall. And they didn't have their backs against the wall very well either. Yeah. They just looked really open. They, they just look all over the place, to be honest. No, it's too easy for Arsenal. Arsenal are just so good, though, to watch, aren't they? They're ruthlessly taking them apart. Taken Five different goal scorers as well. The, all the at team are chipping time. in at half time. Go on, Faz, how many in the second half? Ten? Be at least two to three more. So eight. There should be eight. Eight. It's going on the basis of the goals that they conceded in the first half. <laughs> yeah. Like, so at, by 15 minutes it was 4 0. Yeah. So on that basis. Well, it, could, it, could be, it could be 16 could be by that logic. And Remember, if it's 10. I'd have to do something. I'll buy you dinner, yeah? If it's, it's 10. I'd have to do something <laughs> in the second half to, like, to 
to, to shore up that defence, they've got to do something. Like, yeah. Surely they can't concede 10. Well, they've got to put 11 men behind the ball now, don't they? And play sit, for pride. Sit, make that second half 0-0. Yeah. yeah, just got to keep it 0-0 in the second half. The second half. They can't afford to concede not even one. Yeah. Are you coming up with me or are you staying down there? <laughs> he, the he needs to decide, he needs to decide. <laughs> right, let's cross to the second half. Let's cross to the second half. We had to come over here because fans wanted us obviously to praise a bit of Arsenal. We didn't want to be around hardly any Sheffield United fans uh, when we said that. I honestly can't believe what I've seen. I'm going to go here on row R, have a little bit of Pepsi and get some second half content for you guys. He's making his mind up. He doesn't know what, he doesn't know what he's doing. But yeah, let's enjoy it. So I crack open my can of Pepsi Max even though you're not allowed to bring in cans and I got random search. I do have to say that what is Arteta saying? What is the security doing? He's down there though, the guy that's there, he's down there. there he's just watching the game. <laughs> he looks, right, I look young, right? He Me. looks younger than he's me. He's a baby face assassin. He's a baby face assassin, isn't he? But is Arteta at half time going to say, stop? Right. I don't what, think he is. Would you take off Saka, Martinelli, Bryce, Erdegaard? I think you'll keep Saka on for 60 minutes at least. In my opinion, you take them all off now. You know, like a Saka. Saka's due a second goal. Saka is due a second goal. Let me tell you about that record, guys, by the way. I haven't told you about it. If Saka scores another goal in this game, there's only two players in Premier League history that have scored two goals in three consecutive away games. Harry Kane. Who's the other one? That is Berg. That is Berg. Arsenal and Tottenham player and there might be another Arsenal player if Saka can buy. So that's why, yeah, I think you're right. I think they'll keep him on till 60 and then we'll go. Anyway, I'll bring you guys some content in that second half because uh, the first half was very poor for me. For a vlogger standard, that was embarrassing. Let's have that. When they come, how many more are they going to get? Oh, no, I think another five. I think they're going to get ten. Generally, Sheffield are back out. Arsenal are just discussing who's going to score the next five. There will be no record for the Kyo Saka. No record. He's come on the half time and on from the era. Dropping in Sheffield United have actually started this second half well, but Havertz is in on the left here. Oh dear. Corner for Arsenal. Can they make it six here? That's a great corner. Turn it away though. They need to. They need to not score anymore. I'd, I'd like it to stay at five. It would be very nice because the title may come down to goal difference and uh, to stay at five. And Sheffield United, come on, we're getting behind them. Oh, oh, is it in the box? It's a good position for Erdegaard to witness in. But I'm surprised Arteta's only taken off Saka and not taken off Erdegaard, Havertz, Declan Rice, Gabriel, Saliba. Everybody except for Jorginho basically and David Raya. Really dangerous position this. I want to see a goal in front of me at least. Maybe Declan Rice will whip that in for the free kick. He's going for it. Straight at the goalkeeper. Shot on target. Oh, Havertz. It's Mr. Sitter. Arsenal. Oh, Martinelli, I mean. I'm losing track. Everybody's just scoring at the moment. There he goes. Oh, brilliant defending. Brilliant defending. Probably the highlight of the game for Sheffield United, some actual good defending. Havertz, lovely skill. Benny Blanco, oh, oh, strike. Strike. People heading to the exit, 6 0. Well, that's six. It's taken Arsenal 15 minutes to get number six, and by this time they probably already had four in the first half, didn't they? Benny Blanco. Benny Blanco, indeed. Good goal, good strike. Maybe Sheffield United get one back. Oh, straight up right here. Field United score in the last half an hour. I'm going on the pitch. If the blade score, we're on the pitch. Gotta believe what's just happened. The guy that did my random search has just come up and took my Pepsi Max off me. Sorry, mate. There's not a cancel out mistake. Can you hand him over, please? He must be a fan. I must have just gave him the can. Didn't say a word, didn't I? <laughs> Sorry for any kids watching, but I've still got the water. We're, we're, we're pushing through. Is he? Oh, he, he, he's got a bit of a man crush, hasn't he? Had problems on and off the pitch, it seems. It's not that deep. So Should I have thrown it at him? Pepsi Max. And do you, know what, do you know what the funniest part is? He searched me, and I literally had it in my pocket. He, it was a physical search, like the cash was off. He, he felt the cat and just like, yeah, it's all right, mate. And now he's come to take. Oh my days. 20 minutes to go. Oh. Well, mate, he's, yeah, he's spawned randomly. Anyway, 20 minutes to go. Our Arsenal going to get a 10. Probably not. Will he get 8? Potentially. An interesting night. An interesting match vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you made it this far, smash the like and comment down below. Blades battered. Then I know you've watched up to here. Jesus. Challenged. Offside now. 
could have been a pen. I mean, they'll probably check it, but I think Sheffield tonight. I, th I don't think Jesus should even complain. It's 6 0. The moment while Arsenal keep the ball, they're just so in command, and Sheffield United, the only lad that's actually giving everything is this lad here pressing the ball. Don't know his name, number 35. Everybody else looks beaten, defeated, and doesn't look like they care. They need to be walking off the pitch saying, I did everything that I could. I left everything on that pitch, even though we lost. Look at, look, look at him here. It's the only lad that actually is giving it a go. The rest of them, pretty disgraceful, to be honest. In. What a tackle. What a tackle. And he, he's asking his players, where's the support? Where's the help? Great challenge. Save the goal. Come on. Get a goal. Get a goal. Get a goal. Oh, my days. <laughs> I can't deal with this. I can't deal with it. That bad people are going. Oh my god. No foul given. Jesus pulls it back. It's a nice little knockback. Nice little reverse ball. Is this number seven? Oh, what a save. Finally, great save. It's just not kept in. Finally, great save. Well, it was about time that we had a good save. That looked like number seven. Good effort from Jesus. He can't really do much more. Good save. About time he saved something. Sheffield United. Oh! No! Oh, what a chance. They've had like two good chances throughout the game. So it could have been 6-2. Jesus is going to cut back. Too much. Too much. Flag goes up anyway. He's not in good form, is he? And Havertz is getting played rightly so ahead of him as well. Well, there's five minutes of time and it's looking like this is going to be the end result. 6-0, an incredible first half of Arsenal. An absolute depression session for Sheffield United. They have been absolutely battered and brutally, just battered, brutally battered from Arsenal tonight. And it's concerning for the rest of the title race because Liverpool and City are not playing the best at the moment. Like, they're just scraping past teams. Arsenal are smacking five, six past West Ham, six tonight. They've got Brentford at home on Saturday. They're probably going to score another five in that game. Scary, guys. But we'll have to see how they do against the big clubs. They've got some tough games in March, at the end of March in April. City, United away, Tottenham away. There's some big games in there. And that is it. I don't know what I've just watched. A bit crazy. But it's finished 6-0 to Arsenal. Fair play. Great result for them. Poor from Sheffield United. Well, we're back downstairs. That was a weird game, wasn't it? Full-time. Sheffield United nil. Arsenal 6 bit depressing to watch, obviously, from a Sheffield United perspective. From an Arsenal perspective, that was a brilliant watch. They were absolutely fantastic. Uh, they were so good in that first 15 minutes. It went 4-0 up, absolutely cruising. Declan Rice added a fifth. I'm super Benny Blanco. I did a sixth. I'm not going to stop calling him Benny Blanco now, thanks to fans. That's what he calls him. Uh, but yeah, great sixth goal. Absolutely unbelievable uh, football to watch. But Sheffield United were so, so bad today. They were so, so bad. And unfortunately, I hate to say it, but I don't think there's any chance of them surviving. Every game that they go into now, they now just need to play for pride, play for the badge, play for the club, play for the fans. If they're going to go down, go down with a fight, go down holding your heads high. Uh, that's the way that they've got to look at it now. But for Arsenal, the train goes on for them. The title push, the Champions League final push. Playing football like that, don't write them off in the Champions League. I know they're a goal down against Porto, but they've got them back where they want them, at the Emirates. They're probably going to destroy them uh, in that game. But good game of football from an Arsenal point of view. A very interesting game from a neutral point of view. But yeah, some good football from Arsenal there. A fair play to the Sheffield United uh, players who are going round to support everybody that stayed till the final whistle. There wasn't many, I can tell you now. But uh, yeah, good for them. But in contrast, wow, they are playing well. Led by that man, he's brilliant, Martin Erdegaard. And Arsenal, they continue to pummel anybody in their path at the moment. They look absolutely frightening. It is giving these lads a very enjoyable time to Sheffield United. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. It's been a bit of a different video today. If you have enjoyed it, smash the like, hit that big red subscribe button. We'll be back at the Etihad, back where we belong, back home at the home of the treble winners. Well, five-time trophy winners last season uh, for City versus Copenhagen on Wednesday. We'll see you guys then. Peace out from Bramall Lane. What on earth have I watched?